Hey, how you going everyone? Welcome back uh, to another episode. Today's episode, I'm continuing with Sandblast, but a little bit different. I've gone and bought the big Karsha. I think I may have mentioned that. We've got the 2,600 PSI Karsha now with more waters per, more liters per minute. And I'm hoping that will work with the sandblasting attachment that I did the chassis with on the truck. So we're gonna do the bash plates. You will see me, I've done the one of the tail shafts and I'm gonna try and do the wheels as well, wheel well. So I'm gonna wheel all that out and have a bit of a play. Let's get into it. So this morning, I haven't showed you, but we've just been going around finishing off the painting. We're sick of painting, you're sick of painting. But um, I wanna show you, let's have a look here. So there's the bash plate, the engine protector, and that's the uh, back portion of the tail shaft. Been all um, rust coated and then uh, three coats of top coat. And we've got, so, Yesterday, you saw me working on the wheels. I painted them in the afternoon in, again, the KBS rust seal. Shit's brilliant. And then um, I was like, what am I gonna do for the gray? There's a lot of conjecture about what color the rims are on these standard. I've still got some of the old gray left on the wheels, but they're just dead, old, flat, colors crap. So, three different places this morning looking for a, a, a similar kind of gray. Australian export from Super Cheap. Uh, machinery Grey, I've read everywhere that it's similar to what everyone calls Machinery Grey or uh, Massey Ferguson Grey. That's for our wheels. And if we have a look, just a quick coat um, on the back side of one of the wheels. And that's the original there. So look, it is old and faded, but I'm happy with that. Stop, 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 stop. We are halting the tires. I have changed my tact, I've changed my plan, I've changed the color. After doing some more Googling, I realized it looked too dark. So I've gone and bought some more paint and it's just called Mid Gray, same brand, export. Um, and I tried another wheel and let's see how it looks. So that is what I had showed you. That's the machinery gray. That's this here, okay. There's our lid color. And um, I remember seeing at Super Cheap, there was another uh, lighter gray. So I went back and got it, it's called Mid Gray. Now that was almost bang on perfect. So that is the color we are going with. Right, uh, that's it for now with the wheels. I'm not putting the fronts on. I'm gonna put the valve stems back in and we'll put some air in those. I'm gonna leave it on the jack stands until we're basically done. And then I'll have to paint where the jack stands were. And the fronts we're gonna leave off because I'm working on the front and I uh, wanna do more water blasting and stuff. So I'll put them to the side for now, but I'm, I'm really happy. That's looking fan bloody tastic. Look at that, hey? Really almost period correct gray, I think anyway. Just a note too, somebody uh, down south has a 82 Hilux, that's the uh, Series 1 four-wheel drive. They've just listed it for $35,000. It's original and it's only done 182,000 Ks. I'm not sure, I mean, it looks bloody good, but it's a lot of money. 35,000, whether he gets it or not. But um, it's got me thinking about this thing. What is this gonna be worth? to the uh, right enthusiast. Mm. 
What's it going to be worth to me? That's the question. Some of you have mentioned that I should have, uh, in the comments, I should have greased up the uh, mounts for the shock absorbers, correct? And I have since done that, trust me. So they're sorted. I need to now torque them down to the correct specs. I need to torque down the uh, leaf springs shackles. Haven't done that yet. I need to put some split pins, whoops, split pins in the handbrake cable. And I want to take off the uh, rest of the tail shaft and try and replace the center bearing today. So let's get into it. cut out at the rear end of the car like it's very out of my depth in the front still actually rotates pretty well just it's more like a gimbal than um, anything solid just above the um, where the tail shaft bolts on to the back of the transfer case here you can see I've put some degreaser on there and I've just been scratching it down nothing, nothing um, spectacular very rudimentary and using a wire brush where I need to to get the grease that was packed up in here okay it was all up through there so now that is gone and I'm gonna water blast all of this again underneath here but not not just yet have a look at this tail shaft. Look at look, look, look at this. How much do you want to grease something? <laughs> That's going to take me a, a month of Sundays to clean. All right, that took longer than I had anticipated, and I did not expect that much crud to come out of the car. It's already been water blasted and degreased outside without being up on jack stands, so not as good as it could be. And then we've sandblasted it, so hence why there's a whole uh, shit ton of sand coming out. But um, it's there's a lot of um, mud. I'll dry out dirt and mud in the chassis, so that's what I've been blowing out as well. I did do the back with a water blaster, and then it's probably all sat down around the cab line here. And then I'll just try to blow that out. So you can have a look here. Look at this. There's more. It's just everywhere. Oh, yeah, there is another blue car out there. Uh, not, not a Saab. Um, that's my son's who doesn't live here anymore. He lives in New Zealand and he bought it off a mate. And, Gonna stay here because that's where you keep cars apparently and then it's gonna to go to NZ so another car going overseas right uh, that's it for me for another day I hope you enjoyed the episode um, again we're just plodding along there's a mile of things to do and I, it can't be super different every week um, wheels are looking good the tail shafts are coming along everything's sort of getting there I hope you're enjoying the episodes on the Ningy Nugget remember uh, go and check out all the old videos too Oh, news in, the Peugeot is in safe hands, the owner, new owner, Murad has finally got the vehicle, he's pretty happy with it, he sent me some footage, so hopefully in the coming month, maybe, we will have a um, part two finale to the story of the Peugeot 504 and its journey to its new owner. Uh, I was a bit emotional last night um, when he sent me the footage, <laughs> anyway, um, it's quite a big thing to do something and have somebody admire it from afar and then go to all this effort to ship it overseas. Jeez, I hope you're happy, buddy. Anyway, all right, I'm going. Uh, I'm going to get cleaned up and enjoy the afternoon. Take care. We'll see you next time on Flip My Ride. Find a bike, fix it, flip it, go and have some fun. Make some dollars if you can, but learn some things. Get into the garage. Enjoy it. See ya. My life as a car enthusiast. Wheel, tub, spray guns, tub liner, sand, tail shaft, wheel,
two wheels in there. Wouldn't have it any other way.